Today I'll be showing you how to create a professional storyboard from scratch using only AI tools. So this is a storyboard. Storyboards are the best way to present your video or movie ideas, but the big problem with them is that it takes a lot of time to create a great story, break it down into scenes and then illustrate every scene. So I'll show you a really simple process how you can use AI to turn your scripts and you write your scripts and turn them into storyboards that you're going to impress. So here's a script and a storyboard I made. Took me about three minutes to do the whole thing and let me show you how you can do the same. So first we're going to jump into GPT. So I'll start by writing a script and you can use this prompt that I made. Um, it's basically asking GPT to write a storyline and then the rest is kind of my idea of what I'm thinking of doing. So GPT is now expanding this idea into an actual storyline. It has a little bit more of a story, more of a structure. And then the next thing is a trick that's gonna help you structure this storyline to a storyboard. So what I'm doing is I'm saying, GPT, break this down into scenes and format as a, as a table. And you'll see that formatting this as a table is an important step because this is going to allow us to actually structure this into the storyboard format. So next thing I'll do is now that I've got to a script that I like, I'm going to do another trick. I think this one's really, really sneaky. I don't think a lot of people know about this, but if you say ChatGPT export this as a CSV, you can get this table as a downloadable file that you can then use as your input prompts for the storyboard. So at this point, I'm going to start working on my storyboard. So we have the CSV file downloaded to my computer. At this point, I could use Midjourney, I could use Dream Studio, uh, but because we're building Catalyst, a tool specifically meant for making storyboards that makes it really easy to generate prompts, organize things. And I think most importantly, it keeps characters and scenes consistent without you really having to kind of prompt engineer your way to that. I'm going to use this, but remember, you can use anything that you'd want. So I'm just going to upload the CSV directly into Catalyst because it supports direct import. So no need for copy pasting. And what Catalyst does at this point, it uh, tries to understand the script as well as possible. It's going to figure out uh, the characters. So for every scene, does this scene have a specific character? Does this character appear in multiple scenes? Make sure it's consistent. Do the same for kind of the scene, the background, right? Figuring out how this frame is also set in the same place. And then in the end, it's basically then generating prompts that go into the stable diffusion pipeline and then generate basically the final visual. So in about a minute or so, we're going to have the entire storyboard uh, generated. And then at this point, we can now make adjustments. So if you're using Midjourney, you're probably familiar with how you can then improve and like uh, iterate on your prompt. You can do the same with Catalyst. So we're going to go here and say, you know, I'm not super happy with this visual. So I think I'll just uh, make a little change here. I think I really like to see my protagonist a little bit more. So I'm just generating a couple more variations and I think I'm a lot happier with this one. So that's the image I'll use. And at this point it's ready for presentation. So what I'll do is I'm going to bring up the big picture presentation mode just to show you kind of how it turned out. Maybe still some things I'd probably like to tweak, but I think I got the main idea down. And at this point, it can be a presentation or it can be an input into Runway uh, and be turned into a video. But that's uh, content for, for next time. All right. Thank you so much. For